joining me. I'm AJ of Everything AJ's. I'm so glad that you're here with me today. I've got a beautiful sun catcher idea and it's including a charm. And these charms that I'm using aren't just a regular charm that I would hook on to my sun catchers like I typically do. This is a charm that's going to actually be incorporated as part of the design in the sun catcher itself. So I'm really excited. I've actually strung, strung one of them up and I'm getting ready to string the second one and I thought boy why am I not showing you this because it's actually a way to kind of I think it makes it look a little bit more elegant if that makes any sense this is the example of the one that I've already done and excuse me if the sunshine is blaring out some of this but it's the best way to work out here is when I have a lot of natural light so I just was kind of already out here uh, putting this display together and I knew I needed a couple of more pieces and so I was making them and I thought boy I, I'm going to stop real quick take a video and make sure that I share this information with you guys so first of all you could see that this charm was already attached what it is individually let me just kind of carefully move this so the individual charm has two little loops on it and those loops are going to be running the fishing line through it. The fishing line is thin enough to just kind of run right in there and not really make the design itself look too wrinkly if that makes any sense or ripply. Uh, you do have a small ripple right here in this section but it's nothing that really takes the character away from the sun catcher itself. So it's something that I figured would be kind of cute for other people to perhaps try and incorporate those intricate little details with adding a charm like this. I've already got my sun catcher ball attached to my fishing line. I've done a, a, a surgeon's knot to attach it and I'm going to be burning the tip of this. And then I'm going to go ahead and reposition the camera so that you can see a little bit better as to what the design is up close as I'm grabbing the beads and putting it together. I think that's the best way to see how this is going to actually work. Let me get this line cut and I will reposition the camera. Okay, so we're getting to the section where I'm going to be adding the charm itself. And this charm piece is going to have two clear beads, one on each side. So first I'll do one clear bead and then I'm going to weave through the hole here of the charm and then do the second clear bead including the rest of these little bits in between the next set of two clear beads. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, so there's one clear bead. And now this is where I'm going to string it through the other hole. As you can see, these are going to be in between this section. Well, let me finish beating up the rest of these. And when I put it together, you'll see how they will look. I'm going to finish off the tip here. I've got my clamshell bead. Run that down the line. I'm going to do another surgeon's knot here at the top. And when I do this knot, I use my circular pliers. It's a small tip plier and it's just the rounded ones. I grab the knot here and pull it in as tight as possible. And even sometimes pull that line even tighter with the tool. So we get a pretty tight line here. And then the second one I will do the same way. OK, 
thing. And then I will cut and burn the tip here. So I just push it with the lighter and then there's that little flat tip. And I'm covering all of it up with the clamshell. There we go. And my little loop at the top. And the whole thing fits beautifully.